Welcome to the Castle Grounds Apiary. Today, I'm going to show you how we build brood frames. You're probably thinking, this is super easy. You're right. It is, but there are videos on YouTube that are like how to tie your shoes. So we're just gonna do it. We've got the four components of a brood frame. Top bar, side hoodis times two, and the bottom bar. The way we like to do it, you start with the top bar down. I use my plastic souffle cup to have to be my glue container my great grandpa always told me only use tight bond three which we do and I've just got an old paintbrush so what you want to do I just glob it on heavy on the underside and on the sides of the top bar both sides if it's not squeezing out, you didn't put enough. So I don't run the risk. I put way more than I think I need. Okay. <clears throat> then I grab my side pieces with the thick side down and I jab them down on this top bar like it's a big old fat fresh meatloaf. And I got forks in my hand and I just <laughs> pop them down just like that and I don't worry about square too much just yet you could put your square on it but I generally wait until I get the bottom bar on just because it's gonna shift a little bit now we do the same thing with the bottom bar we go on glue overload and always have your rag handy because this makes a mess this glue is expensive too but it's better to over glue. I think someone said that once. And then we run this bottom bar down, get it nice and tight. Now's a good opportunity to check for square. I use my small speed square and just make sure that it's square on both sides. And that looks good. And then you take your $23 Harbor Freight brad nailer with your 18 gauge one inch brad nails. And you run one down on each side. Then you take your rag and you wipe off the excess glue. Now we're to the top. Take your speed square and check for square one more time. See, I'm actually out of square a little bit, so we'll kick that over. That looks good. If you don't have a speed square and you don't want to check for square, it's not the end of the world. These things are so flexible. God dang, I'm spilling my glue and no one said anything. These things are so flexible, it's not that big of a deal. Make sure you get your brad nails straight down so they go right through the center of your side supports and you don't have a blowout. No one likes a blowout. And then the final step is we take our brad nailer and we shoot a nail horizontally from through the side piece into the top bar. Now if you've never bee kept it before, you may not know why this is helpful. If you have be kept before, you absolutely know why this is helpful and you're asking yourself, why haven't I done that already? Whenever you are, English please, whenever you are inspecting your hives or just doing regular maintenance and uh, you go to pull a frame out with your J tool or hive tool or whatever, if the bees have heavily propolized, so there's lots of cross comb or burr comb, what can happen is, is when you pry up on this, this top bar will 
release from your vertical side pieces. And typically if you have a lot of glue and you put a brad in the top, that won't happen. But just to play it safe, we put another horizontal brad in. That way, no matter how much propolis or cross comb that you're dealing with or how heavy the frame is full of honey or brood, you're not going to split a frame during the middle of an, of an inspection. And that can and does happen. There we go. And that's all there is to it. She's square, she's wood, she's glued, and she's breaded. Long live the queen.